Hey everyone, I'm pretty sure you're familiar with the clamp calculation generator that we put out a couple of weeks ago and I know lots of people are using it and I'm going to show it to you again in a moment but I want to reiterate why it's super important. Over here we've got some uh, headings, subheading, uh, well text editor, sorry, we've got button and we got an image and we got some padding going around here. I just want to show you what happens if you just build how you normally would build say any website. We're using Elemental here but the principle I'm talking about applies to basically any website. It doesn't really matter what page builder you're using. Watch what happens when I start to shrink down. Now the image does shrink down a little bit and then it kind of just like, it becomes a little bit blocky and then it becomes a bit tight. But look at the wording for the heading. See the sizes. Now, unless you go and set a different typography size for your tablet and your mobile, it you might have like these really big headlines. Now this isn't a full on mobile size that I'm shrinking down to, but it can be quite off-putting if you're words don't shrink accordingly to the screen size, the clamp calculator can really help you out. Um, this is free to use, by the way, there's a link in the video description. All you would do, I mean, you, you can use these tags if you want. I mean, it becomes a little bit irrelevant because all I'm going to use is the bit that starts with the word clamp. Everything else before that, I'm really not bothered about. It's all the way from the word clamp until that bracket there before the semicolon. What you do is, you set your minimum size and your maximum size. In this scenario, I set everything to be uh, from 380 to 1100. And then you go and start to determine your sizes. So it might be that you're going to use uh, REM for your fonts, um, or you might use pixels for your margin and your padding, or REM again. And the same with your images, you might use pixel. What you're doing is you're setting how big do you want it to be and what's the smallest size you want it to be. So within the threshold, how big the maximum in terms of the basically the size of your wording or your images and the same for your type, well, the minimum as well. Sorry, I didn't say that right. But also I'm taking it a step further with your padding as well. It might be that on the desktop, you want to have zero padding, but when you get to the mobile, you now want it to have 20 pixels padding. You can do that as well. So you would say something like, you know, let's pretend this was now the padding. You would say, well, put it as zero there but now have it as 20 pixels when you get down to the mobile size. And that padding will start at zero and it increases. So if we now take this example, it's exactly the same thing. Let me now just work through what we've got here. We've got a container. Uh, you can see how it's arranged. It's just set as columns because, well, because it's a parent container with two containers within. And if we go to the advanced tab, you can see here I've got padding for the top and bottom of this container that is using some preset values that I've gone and got from over here after I've decided in how much padding I want to have. Then I go over to say this column or container, child container one. Again, I've got some now in for the right hand side. So I want to have some padding over here, but that padding actually shrinks to zero when you get to the mobile, because I need to have it there for the desktop and hopefully the tablet. But when we get to the mobile, I don't need to have any padding there now because it's gonna be container one and container two. Whereas on the desktop, it's container one, container two. Does that make sense? Side by side. So I need a bit of right uh, margin over there. And please do remember when you do any of this, do it in the desktop view. Don't do it in the tablet or the mobile view because then it starts to get messy and values start to override each other. And we've also got some padding as well. If I go over to this uh, container, there's nothing in there because all that really controls the size of this is the image. So when I go to the image now and I go to the advanced tab, well, basically, let me let me go back a step. The image, there is no size. Look, there's no width. There's no maximum width. There's no nothing. I go to the advanced tab and where I have my width, I've set that to be custom. And I've now gone and set in a width. And I'm pretty sure I had something like, um, if I go back over here, when it was for the image, I think I said it's a maximum of 500 at the biggest size on the desktop. And when we get to the mobile, I want it to be something like 350. So what happens, it starts there and it shrinks down to 350. You, you know, and believe me, if anyone goes, oh, but what about your page speed insights? I've checked, okay, everything I'm showing you and telling you here, I have checked. The score was still 100%, okay? You're not getting any 
image issues or anything like that. It worked perfectly fine. Of course, I am using my PageSpeed 2023 settings. Go and watch that video. Then we go to the heading. Look, we go to style, we go to typography. Look there, there's my size. I'm not setting a different size for the tablet or mobile. I've decided that this is probably going to be, I think, I think from memory, it was three REM for the um, uh, the desktop. And when you get to the mobile, I want it to go to two REM. The same with the text editor. Look, I've popped in the value there. Look, clamp. And then you, cl you stop at the, let me just get this all the way to the end so you can see what it's doing. There's no semicolon at the end, okay? So if you're popping this into your CSS editor or site settings, you need to have the syntax at the beginning, the precursors. Otherwise, you just start from the word clamp, go up to the closing bracket, but before the curly bracket and the semicolon. Uh, we have got videos that explain this, okay? And then we go to the button. I don't think I really did anything for the button. I think I left that, yeah, I just left that as one REM. So now, how does this look? You already saw what was happening. You know, the sizes didn't shrink. Now let's see what happens. Just focus on the image first of all, okay? It starts to shrink, okay? And it starts to occupy a certain size. This is not going all the way down to 380, by the way, because I'm just shrinking down a window. But you can see the image is like, it wasn't as big as what it was when we got to the mobile. That's because we want it to be a certain size. Now look at what you see over here, okay, with the paddings. Focus on the padding over there you're going to start to see it shrink, um, well, growing, sorry. Can you see it just growing there? It starts to push things out a little bit. Look at the text. Everything starts to shrink except the button. The text editor slowly shrinking in size as does the header. Yes, you see a jump between container one and container two because they are now, you know, uh, orientated differently when you hit the tablet or the mobile mode. But can you see how this can really, really help you out? in terms of sizing. So rather than just doing it like for the desktop, I mean, repeating yourself for the tablet and then going through the mobile, it can become cumbersome and it becomes a huge problem when you're working on a website with eight or nine or 10 breakpoints and you're going through, of course, you should still go through. That's the whole point of why you got the breakpoints. But if you're very methodical with your clamp calculations, you can make it so much more efficient and easy for yourself. Hey, I'm Imran Web Squadron. Have a go, and I'll catch you soon. Never break, always fight, never quit. Do it right, play the game, win it life. Have no shame, there's no time. Feel the pain, let the grind. I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win it life. I never miss that fact. Taking big swings, bitch, hand me the pack.